Derek Wilson here, and I'm here to show you creator in this session. Uh, one of the first things I wanted to let everybody know is that there's no software to download. Uh, you can access it right from the Savvy server using a web browser, and which makes it and allows it to work on all devices. I have my Windows PC here, which is my favorite, my iPad, and an Android tablet. So as you can clearly see, we have Creator running on all three of these. Um, for this demo, I'm going to go ahead and use my PC because it's my favorite. So let's get started. All right, so I'm going to start off with um, giving you an overview of Creator that's currently running the booth. And then I'm going to sw switch over to our Savvy O2 server that is completely blank, and I'm going to show you some of the cool features uh, that will make your life a whole lot easier when building a project. Um, so jump into the quick overview. We've done things a little bit different here. We've actually divided up our, uh, our sources and equipment. So our sources are like our direct TV receivers, our Apple TVs, our uh, screen sharing devices, and our equipment is the backend stuff. So the HDMI matrix switch, uh, the canvas encoders, things like that. And then connections is connections. It's where you connect your inputs to outputs and to where you build everything and make them all work together. Um, layouts is more on the LG WebOS uh, session, but uh, I'm gonna just skim through it real fast. But this is how you can set up your different layouts for the display. So two by two video wall, um, I can set up portrait displays, I can do full screen landscape, things like that. And then macros for obviously executing a whole bunch of different devices at one time. So this is my all off macro, which I have all my displays in here. I can just go ahead and execute this right now. So turned off this entire booth and I'll go ahead and turn it back on for the demo. Um, and then we do our locations last. So we start off with equipment and then we build our locations along the way. Uh, and this is where they end up. And this is kind of an inventory of all of your product and devices that are in your system. So I can build all, the, all my equipment first, then go right into locations and it just connects all the dots together at the very end for you. So let's go ahead and just get right into it and just show you some of the cool features that Creator can do. And before I do that, I'm going to show you my phone. So this is our Savio 2 server. And then this is my phone currently that is just a blank project uh, that Creator is pointing to right now. So. Let's start building it. So I have four DirecTV receivers. So this is when I go to sources, this top section is where my driver's are located. And then this bottom section is the project. Right now there's no project in there, it's just a blank slate. Um, I can expand this if I just wanted to see my project or I can expand my sources if I just wanted to find more source in front of me to drop things in. I'm gonna have them both at the halfway point. So I'm gonna select on my DirecTV receiver and I don't want to call those DirecTV. I want to label those satellites. Um, and this is where I just put in my properties for the driver. So I want to throw these in the equipment closet, which is in this rack. And I want to set the IP address of this to, it's already auto populated, to 10.7.1.67. This is to control the device in the project. Now I can add one to the project, or I can select this add multiples and in this case, we have four. And this is where I can adjust the quantity. So I have four of these drivers in this particular project. And I now I want to increment the IP settings and it auto rename it for me. So as soon as I select OK, boom, they're now in the project and we have the control over them in with, uh, with my device control. So those are my sources that we're gonna do in this example. And then now I want to go to my equipment. Uh, we have the exact same setup here. And whenever we get into this on the LG WebOS, we do have an auto discovery that you can scan your network. 
and this will actually discover all of the LGs in the project to where I can um, upload our our uh, our application to them. But again, pay attention to the LG WebOS section. There's a lot of cool stuff with that. Um, so. I'm going to go ahead and add my LGs to the project now, my displays. So I'm going to go ahead and search for LG. And here's my LG WebOS. And let's say in this case, we're going to add these to a main, our main bar. So the project that I'm working on is going to be main bar. So I'm going to title, I don't want to, I don't want to title this LG WebOS display. I'm just going to do a standard display. And now this is where I can change my location. So I want to put these in the main bar. So I'm going to now I'm adding my location tag. And you'll notice I have a whole bunch of settings in this in this particular driver. I can assign available layouts full screen. I don't want to cut this display up. I can start up audio mode. I have my picture settings. I can turn off the IR if I need to. I can do all these various settings with uh, with Canvas and LG WebOS. So I'm going to go ahead and add this display to our project. Now, in our in our mini bar scenario, let's say we have 35 of these. So I don't want to add them one at a time. I'm going to go ahead and do the add multiple again. And I'm going to add 35 of these displays now. And I want to increment the settings and for them to auto rename. As soon as I hit OK, they're going to be added in my project. They're going to be added in my project. And they're also added in my facility view, as you can see. So it makes it really quick to change things up. I can even rename this if I wanted to. I could do this display dash one oh one dash main. And as soon as I hit save, it's just going to automatically rename it in my project. So it's pretty cool the speed on what you can do in real life situations. So now I need to add in my um, my backend equipment. So I'm going to do my Canvas network, which is basically a virtual HDMI matrix switch. Since we have our stream ones that uh, our DirecTVs connect to our stream ones, and those connect to the LG displays over the network, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and add this in the project. Add. And then I'm going to put our stream ones in the project. Stream ones. This is pretty cool too. So I'm going to show you an example. Minimize this, my project tree. So my stream one uh, IP address is, what was the IP address again? Uh, 10.1. Yeah, that's right. So it's 10.7.11.1. Boom. For our devices that we're doing, we're writing extremely native drivers. So as you can see, as soon as I put in that IP address, it instantly brought in the properties and actually, in this case, our preview into the project. So again, I have four of these. I don't want to add these one at a time. I'm going to go ahead and add these at once, increment my settings, and boom, they are now added to the system. Stream one, stream two. And since I already have DirecTV plugged into those physically, we're actually seeing what's actually located on the input source. So once I select this TV right here, I don't see my sources because I haven't made any of my backend connections yet. So my equipment inside Creator doesn't really know what's talking to what. So as soon as I go to connections, I can select Canvas Network. And now this is where I can make my input selections. So input one is satellite one. Input two is satellite two. Now I could keep scrolling down this if I want to, but you'll notice another thing. There are search fields everywhere. So I can come here and I can just hit number three and there's my satellite. Or I can hit four, and it, it, it starts filtering out all of my devices uh, for me to just quickly do it right there. So made that connection. 
Here's another kind of quick, cool feature. I have to connect all 35 displays to my, my uh, Canvas network now. So I could do this a few ways. I could go to my Canvas network output and I could select all of my displays one at a time, or I could go to the main bar room, select the LG displays as a group. All of them were grouped together. And now I just have to do one output connection. As soon as I make that output connection, it instantly adds my sources now to the project. So I didn't have to do them one at a time. We have multi-select features. We have search features. This way you can just get in and out and create your project easily and super fast. It helps out a lot, especially when you're doing these very large projects. Even if they're 35 displays to 100 displays to 1,000 displays, you just have to do quick multi-select functions and make all your connections in a snap. And as you guys can see here, I have my preview now implemented in the project. I can control my satellite receiver. Um, I have all of these features, um, which we didn't have just a few minutes ago. Now, and I can also do the same really fast with macros. So I can, um, I can do an all off scene. I can do an all off scene. And what this is, is we've added containers. So I'm going to add a container with all of my LG displays in here. So I can start selecting all of my displays. And Creator is a complete control platform. So it can control many, many types of equipment, various equipments and displays. We just have drivers. In this case, we're just using, we're using LGs. And I want to turn all of these off. Now, I've just created my all off macro. And layouts we're going to get to in the LG Web OS session, but it's pretty cool what you can do here. You can set all different various layouts on your, on your displays and a lot of cool features with video walls and things like that. Um, and again, in locations, I've added this. Now I see all of my displays here. So if I want to go to display 15, and change that to maybe I don't want to do vivid. I want to do a normal setting. I can just change it there. One more thing is if I need to make multiple changes to drivers that are already in the project, I can do this multi-select again. And that combines all of my settings together and filters out the settings that you can, you can change for multiple drivers at the same time versus single drivers. So in this case, I've selected these displays and it, it filtered out everything that's individual, like maybe an IP address, and it just put together the settings that I can change globally. So there's a whole lot more to Creator, um, but uh, we're gonna share those details more in our training. So sign up as fast as you can, so that way you can join our virtual training and we can show you all the bells and whistles of what this system can offer. Thank you very much. Okay, thanks guys. And Byron here again, just to say thank you very much for joining the Savvy Creator session. We are really passionate about the simplification that we bring to the dealer integrator experience with Savvy Creator. Hope you feel the same too. Uh, also uh, a couple of other notes uh, you may have seen uh, that we have feedback at hellosavvy.com. You can send in your messages there. We would absolutely love to hear from you. And if you want to start the process of becoming a dealer, feel free to go to hellosavvy.com and uh, check that out there. Also on the website at forward slash training uh, to sign up for Savvy3 dealer training. If you are already an existing dealer with us, we would love to have you go there and check out the dates that start at the end of September and then they run through the end of this calendar year. So you can sign up for those there. And if there are other sessions that you see that you want to jump in on, you can feel free to do that at any time. And uh, here's the way that you would find those. If you um, just want to go to the website forward slash connect, hellosavvy.com forward slash connect, you'll find them all there, the lineup for the day. And by the way, those times are all central. And one last thing, just to give you a quick 
look at what uh, the next session will be. It is all about the savvy end user experience, which really is what has become um, much the case to be synonymous with savvy. Uh, our facility view, our room view, our video wall view, and then other aspects of the UI experience uh, that Savvy brings to the table. So that is at 1 p.m. Central Time. And it also includes some special guests as well, so you won't want to miss those. Uh, we have Scott Schultz from Top Golf, and we also have Tim from AV Nation. And thanks to those guys in advance. So uh, thank you all again for your time and attention, and we will see you back shortly at the top of the next hour. Bye-bye.